I'm off to Van Cleef and our pause to check out the Van Cleef Fauna collection today, which is that beautiful butterfly collection. It's just so graceful and elegant and it's a little bit different to the Alhambra collection, a little bit more unusual, unique and kind of less known. So I want to go there, show you everything and answer some of the most asked questions about the Fauna collection. So let's take a look. The Van Cleef and Arpels Fauna collection is made up of both ornamental and precious stones and lots of diamonds to convey the beauty and gentleness of nature in motion. The Van Cleef Fauna collection includes earrings, rings, necklaces, pendants, bracelets, and clips. Like the Van Cleef and Arpels Fauna butterfly necklace made from 18 karat white gold and diamonds that I'm wearing. The Van Cleef Fauna 2 butterfly ring with 70 marquee cut diamonds. And the Fauna 2 butterfly earrings, which is such a talking point piece with its contrasting lapis lazuli and sparkling marquise cut diamonds set in yellow gold. As per most of Van Cleef's stunning collections, it includes a lot of symbols that represent luck, like the lucky spring, lucky animals, which of course includes a black cat, and butterflies. So now you know why it's so popular in Las Vegas. So why is Van Cleef and Arpel so popular? So Van Cleef is really popular because of its quality and its craftsmanship. It's really known for choosing the best precious gemstones and really having that fine detailing in all of its work. The other thing is that celebrities and royals have really raised awareness of it. Just think like Grace Kelly, Princess of Monaco, she was really wearing those long laid necklaces and kind of really made it seem that elegant, really desirable luxury brand. And I think when most of us see Van Cleef and Arpels, we kind of really associate it with wealth and luxury and one of those aspirational brands we all want to have. Is Van Cleef and Arpels a good investment and worth the price? Okay, so that's gonna vary a lot because for some people a $2,000 necklace is a lot of money, for others like that's a really cheap piece of jewelry. So I think it's finding what is a good investment for you and if it's worth it, how much where are you gonna get out of it? A lot of the pieces like the really delicate pendants are such great everyday pieces or the watches, the time pieces, you're gonna get a lot of use out of. The more expensive high jewelry might be something you wear just to more formal events and it's gonna make it a lot more expensive because you're not getting as much use out of it but one of the really good things about Van Cleef is if you're looking at it as an investment piece it does hold its value really well if you're looking to sell it later on as long as you keep the box and the original paperwork it does tend to hold its value so it's definitely a good investment Van Cleef and Arpels is probably one of the most well-known and the most expensive <laughs> jewelry brands in the world. And the price tag really does reflect its quality and craftsmanship. Celebrities and royals have really raised the prestige of the brand as well and put it in the public eye. So it's one of those brands that's so classic and is gonna stay in style for a long time, as long as you go with more of the classic style pieces. Be sure to check out the Van Cleef and Arpels Alhambra review as well if you're looking for that kind of traditional iconic collection. Everything you need to know about that is in the other video and I'll link that in the description below. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a quick thumbs up and subscribe.